Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Today, we're on the creek with Bradley and Bo again. So if you watched the last video, Bradley, who has your nymphed way longer than us, showed this awesome, showed us this awesome dry dropper technique. So basically this is a way that uh, you can fish a dry dropper off that European rig. You just tie, tie your dry off the tag in. And what you do when you're floating it is you can float that dry like this and you create a V like this. And all of a sudden you're watching that V and watching that dry. And then all of a sudden those fish will just, if they heat the net, man, boom. And you saw that big one just knock it. And any yeah, kind of shallow one, ripple yeah. water, man, it's on. It's deadly. Yep. He, he was literally about to explain it to us and then he sat into that fish. Yeah, I was surprised how big he was. I was too, man. That's the biggest one we caught today. That I've right. never even, yeah, it's for, it's made specifically for Euro nymphing, but I'm probably gonna use it for almost everything. And what we're doing is we hit, we're in this small little creek, little pocket water, and we're going up here and dry dropping it. It's March 13th, and we're doing, we're catching some awesome fish. So, yeah, Brad, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Up. Yeah, we've already caught a few. Hope you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna keep fishing. We're gonna kind of show you the technique, but if you really want to hear the technique from the guy who actually knows what he's talking about, check out our last video or go check out the Natives fly fishing videos. So, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get fishing. And pull one out of here. Let's get a little run by that tree. There we go. We knew it. All right, nice little rainbow. Maybe. You got one. Doubles. There we go. Come on, Bo, get in there and get you a triple. And he just caught one right here, too. We got doubles right here. Oh my gosh, it's wrapping me up. <laughs> yeah. It's about the same size. That's cool. Bo's coming in hot for the triple. Anyway. On the dry dropper setup, too. Dry dropper setup for the win. Bye, little buddies. Right of that little, tiny little run. Yeah, that's a problem. There we go. Yeah. Yep. Oh, maybe. That's as good as I can lift it up without breaking me off. Okay, let's get a quick release of the big camera. Ready? But it also kills a lot of trap. It does. The magnet that was there probably means this hole is not going to be as hot as it probably is. It was just above it, but. Oh! That was a decent one. That's a good, not a bad one. I'll be honest, I thought when I pulled up that I was stuck there for a second. Because I hit right at the back side of that rock. Do you anything to hold that dry up? I do, I'll get some. You probably want to do it. Normally they sit right in front of that rock. Yeah, they're going to be one right there. That first one I hooked was a lot better than this one. That's for sure. I mean, look at look at these colors on these. Look at that, unreal. Oh, there you go. oh, oh! Big one. Get the net. Yes, sir. Come oh, on, oh, baby. Dang! That's a big one. Sorry, I got fired up right now. Come on, you pulled up and I was like, holy. Give me some. That's a nice one. That all worked on because I was recording on my end when he hooked it. 
Yeah, I was looking at a trout there. That's a good one, guys. Dude, look at that. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Sweet. Okay, you ready? Get out. I just lost that one, guys, and then I catch it again. A few more casts, and bigger one than the one he lost. Yeah, pretty good. Ryan, no way I'm gonna hold this thing up. Solid rainbow right there. Yep. Sweet man. Great fish. I about got stuck in something behind me too. It wasn't a very big one. Was that a fish that just rolled on that? Because if so, it was a decent one. And I know where he's sitting. Good cast. It's right there. There it is. Got him. How cool was that though? How cool was that? I saw that fish and sight casted that fish. What the? Huh? Yeah, some look at that. It's like black head. It's got a black head. Look how crazy yeah, that is. Look, look at it. something grabbed its head right it's there. It's probably from spawning already. There's marks like that. No, no but like no, 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 it's, it's got. Like it's injured. Uh, I bet it. It's injured. It, it, yeah, it, it, look at it. It's on both sides too. Oh, black. Bird. bird. Yeah, some bird, bird or something got both sides that. of it. Exactly I sight casted that fish. That's so cool. I'm gonna lay this down. Yeah, we'll get a release of this fish. I just want to show it off real quick. Look how it, you got that? Yeah. And look at it, see how it's black even on the chin? Just the head is black. Oh, did you, did you get that injury? No. Yeah. You can see the hole in its head. Yep. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't hit the drive, but I got it, yeah. Oh, popped off. There he goes. No, he hit the nymph, but. This guy's a lot bigger than yours on this still. Need to be over there one more tad bit. Yep. He'll hit again, or a fish will hit again. Fish, little fish, that was tiny. I don't know if that was a fish or not.
Uh. <laughs> that might have been the one I, yeah. I think it popped. It did pop. It's just a silver fish. Oh. Nah, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll catch one. There we go. I had to stick with that fish. I saw him move in there. I mean, talk about getting a cast pinpoint perfect. The hole he's at is really good, but that just looks so good. Yeah, I had to hit that rock corner. I mean, the edge of that rock corner for him to hit that fish. And I made like two drifts in there without catching anything too. All right, you guys, you guys just saw that. That was, I mean, ten, pinpoint casting. So let this guy go. Okay, they're never easy to release. Probably have to get further up for that to sink down. That'll be a good shot. Yeah, I hope it turns out. Yeah. So what I did here, I'll, sh I'll show you. Yeah, here, you want to show me like the, the whole rig maybe real quick? Hold on, let me first. Now watch this. So you just slide that up and down? It catches on that knot. It's just an improved clinch knot. And then when you get a knot here, you just tie an improved clinch and it makes it a faster connection. So then when a fish is pulling, is where all the tension stays. So that allowed me to net that fish because huh. it slid up. Yeah, that that's that's a cool trick you can put that in. Uh-huh. Huh. Nice oh. fish. That's a skinny guy. He looks like a little salmon smolt. Someone else can go up in there. I mean, he's not, yeah, I am. That didn't even look like a rainbow, hardly. Chill, chill, chill. It's just like silver, no spots on it. Weird colored fish. Yeah. See you, buddy. Ooh. It's a little rain bear. Okay. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this was a slightly different video, a lot of tips and tricks. The last two videos were a little different. There are a lot of people that know a lot about urine niffing. I've been doing it for a very long time. And Bradley is one of those guys. So I hope you guys learned something between one of these two videos. 
If you haven't, go check out Native Fly Fishing, the YouTube channel. I'll have it linked in the description below. Bo edited a few videos for that channel. And I think there might be one for Catch Cam's YouTube channel. I'm not sure. And then just check out Catch Cam Nets. They have a new customization feature, which we have a Hardman Fishing Adventures on our net, which is super awesome. So go check them out. Go get your own net customized. And I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Um, they're fun to make. Made some good friends in the process. And you'll probably see us fishing with them more in the future. So. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about the tips and techniques in the last two videos. And I'll catch you on another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures.